Uh, a gas station in Meriden is in cleanup mode following a crash that took out a few of its pumps on Sunday afternoon. Fox 61's Raquel Harrington joins us live in Meriden right now with the details and the damage. Raquel. Yeah, you see, I spoke with the owners of Gasman Food and Fuel here in Meriden, and he explained to me what happened. So I want to walk you guys through it. You see, an SUV came along this way, uh, damaging this pump right here, but right over here, it completely destroyed it. But the owner says, despite all of this, or in spite of all of this, he hopes that it sparks some type of change on what he says is a busy but sometimes dangerous roadway. Surveying damage one pump at a time. We put a lot of investment here. Just before one on Sunday afternoon, an SUV struck gas pumps, igniting a fire at the Gas Man Food and Fuel on Cook Avenue. Meriden police say nobody was hurt. There was no other car was pumping that time, even because it's all neighborhood store. Nobody was walking around here, and it was Sunday, kind of slow day, and that's the good thing. Shahid Imran is the owner of the gas station and says change is needed to avoid future problems and says it's not the first time he's raised concerns to the city. I'm requesting, like if somebody put it on sign, blinking light, is the safety of life, you know? It's not only business, it's the safety of human being. That's my main concern. Between speeding cars and tough blind spots, he says there's been a lot of accidents here. Because it's happened like a lot of time, even in like a two, three times I've seen him within the last four years. He sounded the alarm ever since he opened the gas station nearly five years ago. And so has customers and neighbors. What they should have morally is just a speed marker. If it does get worse, then uh, you probably just have to adjust the signs, uh, either the signs or to uh, put some lights. Now, until change comes, Imran says he's happy he has the community support as they work to stay afloat. I appreciate my neighborhood. They come, they help my business to keep open the doors, you know, until our guests come come back. All right. So again, police do not. They're still investigating on what caused this crash, but there were no injuries. So that is the positive side of this. And speaking of positive, the owners say they are keeping their doors open because they are a community staple and a convenience store in the area. So those doors are open and their diesel pump is up and going as well. Now we have more information on Fox 61.com for now live in Meridian Raquel Harrington, Fox 61 News.